All right, guys, we're here in Atlantic City at the first Pro Play Tour with... Marcel Russell. How are you doing, Marcel? I'm going pretty good. How'd you we can go? Pretty well. I got top 16 at the first Pro Play Tour. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. What deck were you playing? Who's your leader? I was playing Shenron, Dragon Ball leader. Uh, Gogeta Shenron was the engine that I, I played. Nice. Uh, cool. so so yeah let's well before we talk about the deck let's talk about your event experience because this is our first pro play tour yeah. so we want to know what you thought and how you think everything ran. Uh, it, was, it was really amazing there was 205 players as they said uh so like the room was filled um there was eight rounds i think uh it was really organized the head judges kept it kept it in order there were judges going throughout the tables keeping everything in check uh it was, it was ran really smoothly uh, nice nice all right well let's get into the deck all right so the first cards is obviously the Dragon Balls, because you need it to awaken. I run seven uh, regular Dragon Balls, uh, just for consistency. I wanted to leave energy open, because I thought it was going to be uh, a storm-heavy uh, matchup, because that new Brawly leader came out. So I didn't want to play a one-star ball to tap an energy, because I couldn't, I couldn't risk tapping out. So Dragon Raider was my, my draw card to get me my pieces in the deck. I always use it to just draw two from the, the drop area, but there is situations where you could top seven if you really, really, really need like a world piece <clears throat> off the top seven, something like that. Uh, speaking of world piece, world piece is the only desire card that we run in this deck. So to get a desire in your discard pile, you kind of have, you can't do it unless you have the one star ball. So if my, when my opponents did it, I always pitch this card uh, so I can awaken and get the card back. But what it does is reduces. I mean, it summons a card equal to its, the cost of your energy that you have. Then you can reduce this card to zero uh, with your Shenron when it's awakened. Um, our next card is Super Combo, the Temporal Rescue Trunks. Sparking 5, you have the Super Combo uh, 10k draw card. It's always 10k, but you draw a card once you're at Sparking 5. Very easy to get by turn 1 or 2, because you search for 2 Dragon Balls and get them in this card really fast. Use this early to protect your life, because you want to stay at... Uh, at least seven or six life before you uh, get your late game. Because your, your, your deck uses a lot of life, so you want to be careful. Over here, we're, we're a blue package here, so we'll be running our Weezes and Sensu Beans. Uh, Weezes just negates attacks. Really useful in the mirror match, because you need to negate when they triple strike. Uh, and this, any big threat you don't want to deal with, you just negate it. Sensu Bean was very useful, but uh, I, I did cut it down from four to three because it doesn't see much play in the mirror match. And I completely sided these out uh, for the mirror matches because they don't really apply there. But they're really meant for the aggro decks where they do multiple attacks. Uh, it's very strong in combination with Borgos, the new card that stops untapping. Uh, turn, I have four of them. I really wanted to see it turn one. It wasn't bad. It was blue energy outside of that or a draw just to keep digging through your deck so you can see your pieces. Um, so turn one this and then turn one tur turn two you need to leave an energy open so you can beam then turn three you're gonna be using your four drops and uh because you're gonna objection objection turn two and leave an energy open objection is very necessary to run it at four because you need to get your, your otk out as fast as possible um so i run four of it if anything else i just charge this energy later uh, sometimes people are playing Dende in their sideboards, uh, so you have to hold on to it until you're ready to to like play the turn that you're at. Like if you need to go to five energy and summon your five drop, you need to do it on that turn because you can't risk getting Dende. I did get Dende locked by uh, uh, one of the Hill Twins, and it, I completely lost that that during switch rounds. So the new the new Perunga, uh, three drop, really useful in this set. It helps clear the board or it helps you draw cards. In non-aggro matchups, you're going to be using it to draw cards, and in aggro matchups, you're going to be using it to clear boards, pretty much. Uh, and it's very really perfect curve for a three energy card. Uh, my favorite card here, Shenron, Figure of Majesty. This is a like a necessary uh, part of the combo to OTK your opponent. Because you need to give your uh, your cards critical, but it also has multiple effects where you can just untap two energy uh, and draw a card, which really helps in manipulating your energy and extending your plays. Uh, a big bane of this card actually is Borgos, ironically enough. So it was really difficult sometimes. So I had to like remove the their Borgos first before playing this card. Uh, 
and I usually use the at all cost or my Fusion Gogeta. Uh, so the, this is the Gogeta engine right here, the package. So these uh, vanillas are just Goku 20K power because you need them to be uh, matching the power of the Vegeta, which is at all costs. This card was amazing. Uh, you just, at five energy, you can take two life, pop a card, battle card on their field, go to 35K triple strike, and then give it triple attack, give it critical with Shenron. Uh, you can just win randomly, like that's nine damage and it's all critical. If, their if your opponent's tapped out, you can always go for that play. It's always a possibility. I did win a few games like that. Uh, the Gogeta five drop here, he can be using fusion for four or uh, world peace as well when you're at five energy. What he does is you draw two cards and spin two cards on their field that don't have barrier to the bottom of their deck uh, as long as you're sparking five. Really useful for board clear and developing a really strong body on the board. And the finisher of the deck, seven drop Gogeta. We run three of them. Uh, you're definitely going to fusion them because it's, it's a five drop if it's fusioned with your Vegeta and Goku. And it makes your opponents go down to three cards after they shuffle. Which is like chain, chain Attack Zeno and Cell Chain fused into one. Uh, but you do have to take take a life to do so. That's why you want to have a high life total. These, this card and at all costs both take your life. So you need to stay at above five or six life. Five to seven is a general range of uh, what I like to stay at. So that was the main board. Uh, we put the sideboard. Dende. Very, very, very important against the mirror matches. Uh, you can Dende lock people pretty much out of the game. You can always bring it back to life with your Shenron. Because uh, it does have an effect to bring back a two drop or lower. And you can just use two energy and pop their energy and lock them out. In the mirror match, you never want them to touch five energy. It's really like a, their kill energy account. So yeah, it's really dangerous. That's why that was so powerful. Um, group leader Pilaf. This was also good in the mirror match because anytime uh, you go against a Shaman player and they give something triple attack, you can just remove the triple attack or the critical or the triple strike. Anything you really need. And it's very important to have for that situation. The Sun Goku uh, striving to be the best. This was meant for Storm. I didn't see that much, so it didn't really come into handy, but uh, it's getting banned anyway, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, Pranoa, this was for the new... Brawly leader, because the, their chart running is Shigesh. Uh, so I ran that, but I didn't go against one, coincidentally, so whatever. And this is also for Brawly, uh, because they're a yellow leader. You can untap insane amount of energy with a hard heart, because yellow and green leaders just get destroyed. If you world piece it or, or hard cast it, you're plusing regardless, and it's really easy to manipulate your turn and untap energy and keep extending your plays. Awesome, thank you. Well, after the tournament, do you plan on making any changes to the deck? Um, I think after the aggro decks kind of die down because of the bans, I'm going to change one of these to a one-star ball because it makes your deck way more consistent, uh, but it does cost an energy, so you have to be really careful. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I would change. Maybe up the count of Purunga. This card has actually been really impactful. Um, maybe take an objection and put it here because removing the board or drawing is just too flexible not to include into your deck. Awesome. Well, thank you and congratulations.